Peak Performance Coach for High Impact Leaders, AJ Madden here. I help people raise their confidence. Today, we are going to talk about principle number 11 from our 1% Warrior Black Belt Boss book, and that is always trust your gut. Pick yourself up a copy of Black Belt Boss on Amazon and my website, CoachAJMadden.com, if you'd like to improve your leadership ability and your ability to protect yourself and those you care about the most. Always trust your gut. Easily one of the most important principles in self-protection and leadership and in business. It's, it's really hard to top this one, to be honest, because your gut is your second brain and it is always right. When you have a bad feeling about an individual or a situation, you must listen to your gut. It is never wrong. And I don't use that the word always and never very often in my life, but your gut is never wrong. Let's talk about the self-protection application of always trust your gut. This is from Gavin DeBecker, and we've talked about Gavin before. He is one of the top self-protection experts on the planet. He wrote a great book called The Gift of Fear. He also wrote a tremendous book called Protecting the Gift about how parents can protect their children. And Gavin is the head of security for Jeff Bezos, the owner of the founder of Amazon.com. So Jeff's at the top of the self-protection world. And here's a quote from uh, Gavin. We must learn and then teach our children that niceness does not equal goodness. Niceness is a decision, a strategy of social interaction. It is not a character trait. People seeking to control others almost always present the image of a nice person in the beginning. Niceness is a decision a, social, a strategy of social interaction is not a character trait. Niceness does not equal goodness. That is such an important concept right there. Niceness does not equal goodness. Sometimes it does, but it does not necessarily always equal goodness. I prefer kindness over goodness. Niceness is, you know, can be considered manipulative in, in many situations where someone is nice to someone because they're trying to get something that they want. Kindness is doing good things for people with no strings attached. I much prefer the term kindness. Niceness is also when you're just being nice because you're trying to avoid friction or uh, I wanna say a confrontation, that, that sounds aggressive, but it can be uh, an argument, friction or an argument. Niceness is holding things inside and not saying how you really feel about something. This is how my definition of niceness not being honest with people about how you truly feel. And again, niceness is also being nice to someone to try to get something out of them or manipulate them in some way. Again, kindness, which I much prefer, is doing something good for other people with zero strings attached, with no, uh, you don't want anything from that person. You don't need anything from that person. You're just doing it because it's a good thing to do, to put a smile on someone's face or help that person if they need it. So let's talk about self-protection applications of always trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right about a situation and your gut is telling you that something's not right, get out of that situation right away. Whether it's with an individual or just a, a social situation or uh, a self-protection situation where I shouldn't go to the store after 10 o'clock at night. My gut says that's not a good idea. Again, awareness and avoidance. And trusting your gut is one of the most crucial awareness and avoidance concepts. It's just not being there in the first place. Just avoiding, get out of there, don't be there. And your gut, the alarm goes off and says, this isn't a good situation. I heard this statistic once. I never verified it, but it makes sense. And, and we'll use it as a, at least as a metaphor that 100% of people who survived a violent situation, it, when they were interviewed afterwards, they said that something was off about the situation. Something in their gut told them that there was something off about the situation right before the violent attack assault happened. 100% of the time. And this was, I wish I could quote that where I got this statistic from and find it for you. Again, treat, let's treat it as a metaphor and, and, and just say that 
your gut goes off pretty much always before something bad happens. In my experience in the nightclub business, that was 100% the truth. Before something violent was about to happen, my gut was telling me that we needed to solve this situation, de-escalate it, or do something to prevent something terrible from happening. Every single time, my gut went off. They say most of your best decisions come from below your neck. <clears throat> most of your best decisions come from below your neck, and that is trusting your gut, trusting that, that second brain on making a decision, avoiding a situation. We want to stay switched on, essentially. We want to be switched on in terms of trusting our gut. And this doesn't mean going through the world with in a state of paranoia and fear. It means that we are just aware. We're just, ha we're just aware. In the background, we're just aware of what's going on. And it doesn't mean going through the world in a state of distrust of everyone. We are just aware of all the ways that someone can harm us, whether it's financially, mentally, emotionally, or physically. We're just aware of the possibility of violence and assault in all those areas and, and having a crime perpetrated against us, whether it's a white collar crime or it's a violent crime. And we are just aware of these situations. We are not constantly worried about them and in a state of anxiety and panic, we are in a state of awareness and readiness if we have to be. Let's talk about how always trust your gut applies to leadership. And here's a, question, a quote from Wesley Snipes. Pay attention to whom your energy increases and decreases around because that's the universe giving you a hint of who you should embrace and who you should stray from. Pay attention to where your energy goes. And this is in terms of people. Where does your energy go? Trust the trust again your gut and your body and your physicality of does your energy go up around certain people or do, or do those people drain your energy? You want to prioritize people that give you energy. And you want to minimize or avoid completely your time spent with those who drain your energy. Again, trust your gut and pay attention to your energy. And this includes the people you hire in your organization or bring on the team, the people you do business with as vendors. If you're thinking about potentially starting a business and you want a business partner, trust your gut. Where does your energy go with that person? Anybody you let into your life, where does your energy go? What does your gut say? Does it go up? Does that person give you energy or take your energy away? This is one of the most important decisions you could ever make in your life is to be very specific about who you let into your life and what kind of energy they bring to your life. You can ask yourself a simple question. Do they bring me joy or growth? Does this person bring me joy or growth or both? Even better yet, both. Joy in terms of happiness and enjoyment and growth in terms of they can teach you something new you didn't know. They can challenge you to be a better person in some way. They can help you elevate yourself in some way and create opportunities for you or show you how to create your own opportunities. Do they bring, does this person bring me joy or growth? That's a great energy test for someone that you would consider letting into your life and spending your precious time with you also need to ask yourself do i bring people this is more important do i bring others joy and growth do i bring my team members joy and or growth do i bring my family members joy and or growth do i bring my friends and the people in the community joy or growth that's a question you have to ask yourself. If you want to attract more people into your life who bring you joy and growth, you must bring joy and growth to others. Principle number 11, always trust your gut from our 24 principles of self-protection from the book 1% Warrior Black Belt Boss, now available on Amazon.com and my website, Coach AJ Madden. Com. Please pick yourself up a copy if you would like to improve your leadership ability and also the ability to protect yourself and those you care about the most. If you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe. Much appreciated if you do. If you found this video useful, please share it with someone else that you believe this information could help. 
I wish everyone success and happiness. And I challenge you to trust your gut in every situation.